50 years of excellence in medical education. The Cebu Institute of Medicine is one of the four medical schools in Cebu. In 1956, three practicing physicians felt an urgent need for a strong and progressive school of medicine in the city of Cebu to accommodate the serving students who would not be able to pursue a medical education elsewhere. This feeling was transformed into an idea that was enthusiastically received and sustained by Dr. Jacinto Velez. In a series of brainstorming meetings among the core group of physicians and Dr. Velas, an organization plan was established and a corporation was formed with the following incorporators. Dr. and Mrs. Jacinto Velas, Dr. Eugenio Alonso, Dr. Benito Antigua, Dr. Uldarico Bacay, Dr. Nicolas Escario, Dr. Renato Espinosa, and Dr. Jose Tolentino. CIM was established originally as the Cebu Institute of Technology College of Medicine. With the help of Dr. Virgilio Ramos, then the Dean of the University of Santo Tomas College of Medicine and a classmate of Velas, the pioneer members of the faculty were recruited from Manila, among them Dr. Fernando Santos and Dr. Manuel Alvarez. The school opened its doors to 47 medical students on June 10, 1957, 33 of whom graduated in 1962. With the establishment of Velas College in 1966, the school was spun off from CIT and was renamed CIM from its original beginnings at the back of Cebu Velas General Hospital. CIM transferred to a five-story building at the corner of F. Ramos and Ranudo Streets. Each floor has three classrooms with 50 student capacity, three air-conditioned amphitheaters, each having a 150 seating capacity are likewise found in the building. The ground floor accommodates the CVGH outpatient department, conference room, a well-lighted mezzanine serves as a study area for students. CIM Community Medical Social Services at Paknaan, Mandawa City was established to provide a training center and field laboratory for the community-oriented activities of the Department of Family and Community Medicine. It now includes a primary health care and lying-in center with a 10-bed capacity and a DOT center. In 1968, the school shifted from a five-year to a four-year curriculum, although it was as early as 1996 when CIM began to introduce the problem-based learning method of teaching in some of its classes. It was in 2001 when PBL was fully implemented. CIM is consistent because we have dedicated faculty and also because uh, our faculty study, I mean, follows the curriculum very strictly. 
Also, our students are very dedicated because we have a very good screening committee which chooses students not only because they're academically good, but more because of their attitude of really wanting to learn. Then, of course, we have the uh, vision and mission of physician with a heart. When we say uh, uh, physician with a heart, we mean physician who is excellent in medical knowledge and heart means that they are caring and morally upright. The school's overall passing percentage in the Philippine Medical Board examination of 95.37% from 1995 till 1998 and 96% in the February 2005 examination makes it among the top five medical schools in the country. In 1987, CIM was classified as Level 4 Medical School, the highest category based given by the Commission of Medical Education. The Commission on Higher Education recognized CIM as one of the Centers of Excellence for Medicine in April 1996 and granted it autonomy status in September 2001. The Vision Physician with a Heart And most of all, there is this desire for community service. This kind of community service that doesn't have any regard as to whether you are paid, no regard for, even for your personal safety or the recognition of what you have done. But it seems to come automatically to the IEM alumni. And uh, first, they, they look back to the school. And then they ask the question, what can I do? What can I do for the school? And we have seen time and again how the CIM alumni are able to help the school. And then beyond that, since we know that if we help the school, they produce more of the kind that we want in terms of graduates, that will also have an effect on the community. But individually and even collectively, there are a lot of alumni who are going out on their own to help the community. Not known by all the people, not, not even known by many people. But they do it because they feel that it is something that they would like to do. Others would probably call it an apostolate. Others would probably call it a mission. But for them it just comes naturally. It's something that I feel I should do. But it's just an expression of the personality that you have become after all the years that you have been at CIM. The mission to produce graduates who are professionally competent, socially concerned, and guided by a correct conscience in all their actions. We are proud to say that there are certain things that distinguish a CIM alumnus from everybody else, which have been, I think, the result of the upbringing that the alumnus has had in the family, the type of relationships that he, they have had there, and the experiences that he, she had undergone while in the medical school. In general, a CIM alumnus is God-fearing and believes that he is just an instrument of God. Professionally, a CIM alumnus is confident in 
himself present, but also is aware of his her limitations. And it is this awareness of limitations that I think impel him or her to keep on learning at all times. General objectives to provide quality medical education relevant to the needs of the country. Its specific objectives are as follows. To provide the undergraduates with a firm basic education in medicine and to foster habits of academic excellence. To imbue in the undergraduates the proper moral and social values. To contribute to the development of knowledge through research. To assist in the development of teachers, investigators and practitioners, both urban and rural through program of graduate education, including residency training. Um, CIM has contributed so much to this. I can say from, from, from internship, and the trainings, and the way, it's the culture, I think. It's the culture of CIM, how disciplined you are, um, your high sense of responsibility. Um, not leaving what you've started, but you have to finish what you've started. It's, it's very important. You just cannot quit in the middle of something just because you don't like it or you feel you're, 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 you, 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 you deserve more than that. Or, you know, you just can't like sway in one mood and then sway then, then the next day. And then it's not, it's, it's, it doesn't work that way. Since its founding, the school has produced almost 5,000 graduates, with 110 of them among the top placers in the medical board examinations. Mm -hmm.